which is captioned as what and it has a has a lot of warnings in it warning this mini movie includes lgbtq kissing 13 plus scenes kinda alcohol and spaghetti abuse very sensitive topics bullying and other things like swearing if you are uncomfortable with any of these things please leave the video oh my god nothing makes me more uncomfortable than kissing or 13 plus scenes kinda or the big gay <laughs> it's very sensitive topics yeah what would a very sensitive topic be that i don't like spaghetti anyone who challenges the simp king on that knowledge can fight me with a wet noodle and i invite you all to come see me fight someone using a wet noodle everybody should come it's gonna be hilarious just found out my good friend is spaghetti logan lgbtq isn't real dude Period. LGBTQ isn't real. That's right, Gamer Virgins, especially you, Logan. I know you're watching this. LGBTQ isn't real, according to Gacha Cringe Kids. This seems to be a pretty common thing they like to do. Uh, apparently, you all just got Thanos snapped out of existence. How dumb can these kids be? Right, hello Gamer Virgins, welcome back to Bible Study with the King Simp Gamer Virgin Ben. Today we are looking at, once again, the Seven Commandments of Spaghetti. I'm still working on what they are, but I know for a fact one isn't eating goddamn tables and tweeting at me about it. A friend asked me what's my community like the other day, but the conversation died quite quickly when I said, yeah, they tweet at me, they eat tables and knives. I love you guys, you're awesome, that friend sucked anyway. <laughs> Today we're looking at Gacha Cringe because I know you all love it and I want to thank you guys as well honestly for the fan art you send me I really do love it and it means a lot and you guys are, are actually really talented with some of the things that you send me As always please do not harass anyone in the Gacha community as these videos are just for fun and not everyone is making content like this With all that being said you blocks of cheese let's begin Alright, so I found this absolute gem on Gacha Life Cringe, and it's just captioned as 100% how it works. So, sit back and enjoy this story. Okay, I'll run you through what's going on. Sparky, the little rascal here, as you can see, has a pair of scissors and is, I guess, gonna cut Snowball's hair. And she does. This story moves very quickly. It's, it's like eight seconds long. I can't keep up. Uh, thank you so much. I always wanted to be gay. And then... And then it just immediately kind of just kisses this dude. <laughs> that's the story. So yeah, that that's the story. According to Gacha Cringe Kids, once again bringing out the big brain. If someone cuts your hair or something, I don't even know at this point. They always cease to amaze me. You will become gay. You might even say when they do it, thank you so much. I always wanted to be gay. If someone hasn't cut your hair for a prank, then you are not truly gay. You are faking, apparently. If you guys want to see story development at its finest, you'll find it right here in Gacha Cringe. The worst part is that, is that she isn't a baby, and it's just, <laughs> you know, it's if I were kidnapped. Oh, what is the epic escape plan? It's just you showing your poo to the bad guy and then him saying, did you just poop in my car? Because I imagine everyone is just imagining scenarios of if they were kidnapped and then their epic escape plan would be to be taking a big poo in their own pants and then showing it to the bad guy like, hey, look what I did. And then he's just he's just going to let you go now, apparently. Yeah, you know, gacha cringe is just absolutely spaghetti. <laughs> Welcome to r slash gacha life cringe. Your 13th photo is why I went on a killing spree. Now in preparation to this, I checked to see what my 13th picture is on my camera roll. And it's a picture of my cat, which I tucked in with a blanket. But, but it also looks like it's dead or pretending to be asleep so I don't annoy her. I would love to see what you guys have as your 13th picture and why you became well, why you went on a killing spree because of it. You can tweet me the picture. I would love to see it. This one is just captioned as why. Ah, yes. Gacha poop. A popular thing to do. I love how the toilet is just overflowing. And there's just a turd hanging out while also letting out an absolute shredder of a fart. Top 10 places I'd never want to be is this bathroom. Oh, okay. Saddest, a little bit misogynist, 
eats human flesh. Kings of sinners, crazy broken. Whoa, this guy is absolutely crazy. 10 out of 10, would not mess with him. I don't know why gacha kids take on these methods of making a character. It's so odd, and it's kids making this. When I was a kid, I'd run around with my friends playing tag, or I'd build bases, or I would pretend I could buy a one pound or dollar store for literally a pound or a dollar. Simpler times, I know, but now kids are just making up these characters who are just the weirdest thing. Whoa, inspirational. Us girls have been created to serve our masters. Boys. I mean, this is the type of thing that I'm talking about. Why is stuff like this being made? Who makes this type of thing? It's clearly just children who have no awareness of what they're actually doing. I mean, where are their parents? Cleo, run. I wonder why Cleo didn't let me take a smelly spaghetti into her mouth. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> Gamer Virgins, can you think of any reason why Cleo didn't let Lado take a smelly spaghetti in her mouth? I mean, what is this? Imagine, imagine making something like this and someone finds it. That, that would be so awkward. I mean, how would you explain that to anyone that, hey, I make gacha content where <laughs> I take a smelly spaghetti into someone's mouth? Oh my god, <laughs> why did I see this? Okay, before I read this out to any of you, can this image just be completely blurred out? <laughs> what I what went through this person's head when making this? What do I want for Christmas? Wow, what do I want for Christmas? I want this image sent to Garbage Island. I'll pay for the ticket. I'll even send it to Mars. I'll pay for it. Just get this off my planet. I am not gonna I'm not gonna show you guys what is on this image, but it is just it is just not good. Get all the holy water in your house, everyone. Put ice in panties. Oh wow, what an epic prank. I mean, where's this gonna lead to? Oh, it, it just leads to pee. Oh, what an epic prank. Oh, oh my god, whoa. You got him. Woo. <laughs> I am done with gacha cringe today. I don't want to see another pee prank or another I'm gay prank or another I pooed and now you have to let me go because <laughs> that's... That's a good story, but yeah, gacha cringe everyone. You love to see it, but you really don't like to know that it's a thing. I'm interested to know what's the worst gacha cringe you have seen or you have found your friend doing. Leave a comment down below and we can all have a laugh at it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out and it costs you guys absolutely nothing. All of my socials are down below. You can message me at any time. I will see you all next time, Gamer Virgins. By the way, continue to eat tables.